Hi guys. Gee, what a surprise. We're heading into another severe thunderstorm warning. Here in the end times on Friday the 13th. Yes. A severe storm warning on Friday the 13th. That would be Friday, August 20, August 13th, obviously, 2021. Hmm. So here I am at 5 o'clock on a Friday afternoon with no plans for the weekend. Uh, just realizing with terror that I have no tequila. I have drank every drop of tequila. It's been an emotional roller coaster the past few days. And so, you know, I'm going a long way to buy a bottle of tequila. From my house to the liquor store is a half hour, half so I'm driving an hour round trip. I don't know how many, uh, probably six dollars worth of gas to get a bottle of tequila. I, I can always, you know, do the rationalization that you know, stopping by the liquor store is just one thing that I'm doing. You know, I have the grocery store and the and Home Depot and Lowe's and all that, but the only reason, the only reason I am driving to Ithaca, New York to get in the five o'clock traffic with a severe thunderstorm warning is because I'm out of fucking liquor. And the thought of facing another weekend alone <clears throat> here in the end times in paradise. Heading back to my uh, to my crutch. Yep. This is, I don't know. Is this a sign of something? Uh, but I have nothing better to do. Uh, and this is some blessed air conditioning. I finally sold my... I've been trying for a month to sell a fucking $30 air conditioner. So I guess it finally took the wet bulb uh, <laughs> heat wave in upstate New York. Finally sold that fucking air conditioner on Craigslist for $30. It took me exactly 30 days to sell a $159 air conditioner for $30 in the middle of a heat wave. So here I am taking my $30 and going to spend it trading an air conditioner for a bottle of tequila and it's just, uh, I don't know, it's just this I've just been thinking a couple of days ago, I won't go into the details, let's just say that I failed an audition. I, I had a very important, uh, very important meeting on Tuesday. It wasn't a complete failure, it just was not, I did not accomplish the goal I set out to accomplish. I did not manifest what uh, I set out to manifest and this is once again uh, set me on the edge of the abyss and uh, I can just tell with these these rotten falling leaves out in the yard I did a little video this morning it's just something about these leaves falling in uh, <clears throat> in August and I mean you're already seeing fall color and uh, here in August and just the the closing in of the walls of winter the very notion of uh, of what this winter is going to look like 
I mean, I'm already, uh, I, I mean, I'm going into looking ahead to this winter. I, I, I mean, it, it's, it's throwing me in, into nothing short of a terror uh, and, and just into a, a hopeless panic about what the fuck this winter is going to look like. I have no good choices. Uh, I could either stay here, yeah right, and freeze my ass uh, in this, you know, it, it, I, I would be, well, I would, I, I would have committed, so definitely, I, if I try to stay here this winter, I will be dead <clears throat> by Christmas. The very thought of spending winter in upstate New York, um, I, I, so, well, <laughs> You know, I'm supposed to be a snowbird, but of course I cannot return to the property I own in Florida. That is not an option. So, I mean, I've eliminated the, the option that I tried to manifest for myself. I cannot return to that place in Florida to live. And, and even if I could, the thought of that would be it would be just about as depressing as staying here so it still wouldn't be an option even if it was an option uh, so uh, what that leaves is is, is, is what my winter is, is gonna look like is that I'm gonna hook up the fucking <clears throat> Maggie May you know the USS Maggie May my little 16 foot trailer and just and just head out uh, you know into the void uh, having no fucking idea where I'm going you know um, I mean I can uh, show up at uh, show up at tribes members houses for a few days wear out my welcome uh, after about three days and move on to, uh, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm going to have no fucking stability, uh, and I'm thinking, how many men, well, I don't know why I just say men, how, how many people's fantasy would it be to, to have the universe tell them, here, uh, here is this very cool uh, little trailer, uh, this comfortable, cool little trailer, here is this nice truck. Uh, I'm getting $752 a month Social Security starting uh, either in October or November. I get my first Social Security check. Got $752 a month coming in there. Uh, probably, I don't know, with my great YouTube uh, income, I'm probably going to be making about $1,200 a month. So, you know, what's that? That's $40 a day. So I've got. Uh, you know, I've got this cool little trailer to live in, this nice truck, the uh, coolest little dog on the planet to go with me. Uh, I have uh, no boss uh, breathing down my neck. I have no responsibilities. I have friends that I'm going to be visiting. Uh, I have, you know, the call of the open road. You know, my favorite thing in the world is driving down the open road, listening to music. Uh, I'm hopefully going to be in some, you know, some beautiful weather and whatnot. And I mean, how many people would think they had just been delivered a, a gift from the universe? How many people have this fantasy, the fantasy that I just described? Uh, they, they have entire uh, YouTube channels devoted to this fantasy, uh, you know, books written about this fantasy, movies made about this fantasy, websites devoted to this fantasy that the universe is giving me, this gift from the universe and the very thought, the very thought of, of pulling out here alone, well, not counting my little dog sitting in my lap, uh, the, the very fucking thought uh, of pulling out here 
uh, six months of driving around with my fucking thumb up my ass. It, it, it feels, it fills me with this dread. There's, it, it, it is this dread. It is this loathing, the very thought uh, of, of being uh, cursed like this. Uh, you know, driving around alone. Uh, of course, you know, I've got my little uh, ridiculous Dulcinea fantasy. Um, this is not a Dulcinea Chronicle, by the way, but uh, of course Dulcinea knows she is invited to join me, and uh, with each passing day, uh, you know, that little fucking fantasy, but who knows, uh, you better believe uh, I'm, I'm going to hold out this ray of false hope uh, that Dulcinea uh, is going to join Don Quixote and Sancho Panza, uh, y you know, on their on their quest. <clears throat> uh, but you know, with, without that possible sliver of a miracle, you know, once again putting my happiness in, in the in the hands of someone else. But the, the, the very thought of being a MGTOW, uh, I, I, I don't fucking get it. Uh, I have been an unintentional MGTOW uh, now since, uh, well, since when? Since January of 2009. January 5th, 2009, uh, I became <clears throat> unintentionally a MGTOW. I pretty much started this whole journey, uh, you know, in January of 2009. I did it for 10 years, got fed up with it, and so, uh, you know, I, I bought this beautiful place in New York and this beautiful place in Florida. The place in Florida has completely fucking crashed and burned, so it's no longer. So, six months a year, I have this beautiful little uh, paradise I've created up here in New York. Uh, there's a few people on the fucking planet who understand what I've built here. Uh, you know, Rob and Donna, uh, Alistair, I think Sandy uh, understands uh, the, the vision that I'm trying to create here, but uh, you know, we will wait to see if Dulcinea ever appreciates it or not. But so, so here it is. So I have this going, and and already fall is in it. It's fucking uh, August 13th, and and already, I mean, look at these leaves right here on this tree starting to turn yellow. Uh, I mean, it's. Uh, Last year, it was September 18th that we had our first hard frost. Uh, and, you know, that's when I went into, which happened to coincide with the day I, you know, I flipped from my mania uh, in, into that fucking depression that lasted. That depression lasted about six weeks, but then I, you know, I got down to Florida and I had all of this to do, you, you know, uh, building the kitchen and the, uh, and, you know, building those buildings and getting that place all set up, setting up the hip camp and all of that. I just had so much to fill my time. I got to be manic again. Uh, so I really haven't, so I, I've actually not been depressed. It, it's pretty much been uh, since October was the last time that I was depressed. But, you know, people, uh, well, bipolar people particularly, going from a manic stage in, into depression, you know, we can feel it. It's not, I mean, we can you, you can, it, it's, it's kind of like when you first get a cold, you know, you know, when you, you know, the very swallow when you start to get a cold and, and you can feel this little catch 
your saliva like catch uh, on the top of the back of your mouth, you know it from the first little swallow that you're heading into, uh, you, you know, anywhere from five days to 20 days of hell. And uh, that's where I am right now, uh, is that first little catch of saliva on the back of my throat, uh, feeling these uh, storm clouds, this, uh, this thunderstorm, severe thunderstorm warning rumbling uh, on Friday the 13th. And to just, the, just the fucking thought of it. And, you know, just this whole thing of uh, the whole epidemic of loneliness. You know, this kid, I've mentioned him before, uh, who's been staying in the Maggie May for the past 10 or 12 days. He, he left this morning and I, and I uh, w was out there cleaning up the Maggie May, <clears throat> you know, cleaning up the trailer that I'm going to be living in, uh, that he's been living in. And he really only had one thing in there. What he had, I guess, that he went out and bought like a big flat screen TV to uh, play his video game. So I go in the fucking trailer and... It, of course, the, he's been running the goddamn air conditioning uh, for 12 solid days and nights. I can't uh, wait to see what my power bill is. But he was in there, and he had uh, not only were the windows all shut up, uh, you know, for the AC, but he had all of the blinds pulled. All of the fucking blinds pulled. He has been up here for 12 days. Uh, you know, up here in upstate New York where he's never been before. This, you know, a real nice uh, kid, I'm sure would make a fine boyfriend to some girl or whatever. He never had, he never had any interest in, uh, in doing anything. He had no interest. So the plan was, I, I, don't, I don't think I told this story. So. The shtick was he was hired to come up here and work on this big solar project for this two-week gig, this gig job on this solar uh, project. Did I tell this story? I can't remember what story I've told here or, or told to individual people. So he comes up here for this gig, and uh, so they on their very first day, they and bringing in all of these people from all over, uh, he uh, they had to get corona panic tested, and he tested negative. I think I just told this story on Tuesday. He had to get uh, tested like all over. So he tested negative. Everybody except one person tested negative. Uh, but one person on the entire crew tested positive on the first day of a 14-day gig. So the solar company bringing in all of these people, of course, this kid was working on a giant fossil fuel-powered machine. His job at the solar farm was to run this giant fossil fuel-powered tractor because all the other guys on the crew had been exposed to some guy who was perfectly healthy but he tested positive, they had to shut down the entire crew. The entire crew got sent back home. I mean, the company had already shelled out thousands and thousands of dollars, brought in guys from all over the fucking country, I guess. This kid was from, uh, from North Carolina, you know, paid this kid to come up, paid, uh, you know, paid for the USS Maggie May rental for two weeks, whatnot, uh, and they sent everybody home. So what this kid has been doing uh, today was going to be the last day of the gig. That you know, this was going to be the last day of the gig, uh, and so he's been sitting here every day. 
every single solitary day for 12 days sitting in this camper by himself with his flat screen uh, giant you know flat screen to play video games on with, with the goddamn shades drawn and uh, that is his entire life he lives off of pizza I don't even think he drinks he, he lives off of takeout pizza and video games he has devoted he, he, he you know zero interest he never went in no now he did go into Ithaca to Walmart to buy the giant screen PlayStation. Uh, he did make a trip into Ithaca, New York, you know, with all of these beautiful waterfalls and gorges and, you know, nice restaurants and all and, and whatnot. Uh, he did make a trip into Ithaca, New York to, uh, to Walmart. This was a kid working at a solar uh, up here, and uh, and and then the little fucker wants me to re him reimburse him. Uh, he wants he wanted me to give him a hundred dollars refund because he left two days early, and he's holding out his fucking hammer. I told him to go. I mean, very politely. I I, I said, brother. I said, I really appreciate you being such a, a, a polite guest up here. I said, I will give you a five-star rating on Airbnb, uh, but fuck you if, you th if, if you're going to come up here and, and uh, you know, and, and prepay me uh, and, and then sit here and uh, say, you want a, a fucking hundred dollars back. I uh, told him to go fuck himself. And so we will see uh, if I get in some fight with him on Airbnb or see if he, what kind of uh, reference he writes me in Bugs in a Jar Farm. And that was our parting shot. Uh, and he gets in his fucking car and, and in his last words to me, it's fucking hundred dollars, Sam. Uh, I really don't give a fuck. <clears throat> Got in his car and drove off. And I said, fine. He doesn't give a fuck. And I uh, threw his goddamn uh, flat screen game boy or whatever you call that thing into his goddamn car and headed back to North Carolina, leaving me with the big flat screen box. And I'm just thinking, you know, is this what it's come to? This, this is this kid's life. His life. He would be quite satisfied sitting alone, uh, cooped up in a little camper in paradise with the fucking shades drawn, uh, playing fucking video games. I honestly don't know if the kid is lonely. I honestly don't know if he's depressed. He did not seem to be particularly lonely or depressed. He seemed quite thrilled that he got to sit up here for 12 days and, and play fucking video games uh, so he didn't have to go to work. They paid him. He, he got his full pay. Two weeks of pay. Uh, all his fucking rent paid. Uh, to sit there and play video games and, and, and he and I honestly believe that he's satisfied with that life That uh, he considers it a pretty fucking good life uh, If somebody uh, Told me I was gonna spend the rest of my fucking life playing video games in a 16-foot trailer uh, with the goddamn blinds drawn, sitting there by my fucking self, I, I would just go ahead and fucking kill myself. I would fucking kill myself. There's no way I would not fucking kill myself. Oh, Jesus. But, uh, anyway, the very fucking thought of, uh, pulling out of here in the USS Maggie May, uh, loading up my little dog and uh, heading off in, into fucking uh, into the fucking abyss alone mig, mig towing it again uh, 
fuck it. When somebody just give me fucking corona panic and get this shit over with. Uh, anyway, at least the liquor store is next to uh, Habitat for Humanity. So, uh, I guess I can make the excuse that I'm also uh, going to Habitat for Humanity to uh, see what we can dig up here. Friday is free bread day. They, they give away free bread at Habitat, although my guess is all the free bread is gone. As a matter of fact, it's 525. I think they close in five minutes. If they're not closed already, but I'm off. I always like to drive around and look at the yard. Off to check out Habitat for Humanity. Yeah, he's already locked the gate. And the guy just gave me a dirty look. The gate is already locked. I don't see anything there I need. Any who's. Get out there to the Habitat Restore while you still can. Bye guys. Liquor store. Here I come.